round without saving some of those rifles. I think it'll be a very broken buy in the next one. Profi, though, going to take the right idea, get very aggressive and tuck into the cubby out C long. That could start something up but look towards A, though. It's going to come down to Rebo again, try to lock things down as the Cypher. It's going to come on through. Baby Bay leading that charge up long. Zachary will trade onto Rebo's. Corey fell. Baby Beautiful. Bay, the updraft onto the top of the box, is holding a good angle, but he doesn't reposition and temperature Five keeps play. the angle. Has a second kill onto Zachary as well. Will get felled by Marv, though, in the end. And now it's a 2v2. Good teleport by Marv under heaven. But the rotation coming in from the Sova could be huge here for Moon Raccoons. Marv still holding. There's no information on where these last two are coming from. Rocket spots the gun barrel of Fiend. That's going to be the first of two necessary for FaZe to grab this first gun round. The last player moving up short. It's Profi. Has no recon bolt. 15 seconds. Does not have the time to wait for it to recharge. First aim to a one. Good. But Marv is right there for the trade. It's a good roll, and this will be a very fine look for them. There's no contention whatsoever until the fight comes to short. There is some contact being made by Alexander, which is going to do him good for one kill. Backing off safely, there's no trade available for FaZe. And that's Take one thing out. that I was able to praise him for for some of their past Ooh. games. But I wasn't able to praise Profi, or Profi, excuse me, for just being an absolute legend like that. But I guess, you know, times are changing. I'm going to have to go ahead and get used to this new style of Moon Raccoons who would just pop off. They find themselves in a five on one, made into a four on one, obviously, after Corey gets just the single frag to it. But that's totally fine. This is still already better than what I think FaZe could have expected in a lot of ways, considering the buy that they have on their hands. Being able to have a lead like this is run. incredible. However, the pistols really struggle in the latter part of rounds like this, and Boggs, I Look. still think Moon Raccoons have a decent chance to get back into this Look one. Look at the health. Baby Bay needs that kill. Uh, Does get exactly. taken down by Rebo. Neural Theft comes in as well, but Corey trades it back very quickly. Still needs more, though. Profi, Temperature, all finding frags. It's all down to Corey. 20 health. And not much of a chance here. Temperature holding down spacebar, hops away, grabs the classic kill, and Moon Raccoons will jump to a 4-1 lead. FaZe looking a little... I think they could even take some very good aggressive plays here on the defense and take out FaZe in those 1v1 duels. Rebo's been very critical for this entire Moon Raccoons team as well. Good paint job to clear him out, though, and that's going to be a good first pick. Marv with the Stinger to start things off. Baby Bay jumping onto sight. Doesn't get anything at all. But FaZe do have a player in the back line, so they could open something up this way. Good paranoia comes in as well. That's a great kill from Marv. That's exactly what they needed to get back into this round. But Profi, two kills towards Garage, making a third. It's all down to Marv. And Marv's just going to walk right towards Profi. Great little recon bolt there from the aforementioned Sova. And Profi with the quad kill. Locked. Good old soul. Aggression out mid, by the way. I want to mention that one. Moon Raccoons Ooh. still trying to switch things up every single round, even though they're in such a dominant lead. Baby Bay forming on towards sight. Not going to get taken down first. Rockus has fallen to Alexander. Rebo chimes in on a Baby Bay. 4v3. Man advantage now for the Moon Raccoons. But the bottom of the spike's going to rotate over towards Zay. The neural theft's going to reveal it all. And Real. Fiend has a collateral. Marvin and Zachary falling in the third for Fiend. 9 to 2 potential for a 10 to 2 for Moon hash. Raccoons. If you would have told me that Moon Raccoons would have a 9 to 2 lead to start off Haven, I would have called you crazy. Yeah, I mean, again, just on paper, FaZe had every right of winning this, but Moon Raccoons are so insanely impressive at the moment. I'm absolutely loving everything that I'm seeing from them. Profi, you know, sitting middle of the line has had some incredible round. Alexander and Fiend, I feel like I haven't even had to see them do much, and yet they're still just being incredibly valuable assets for their teams. It's very likely that we see double digits in the first half of play against FaZe on their map pick as well, I should mention. Boggs, it's not going to get any better if things like this continue. Map number two will be split, so we are going to be seeing that guaranteed, but who knows how much further we'll go. Who knows if, if, if this is even going to get to a map three, because right now I cannot find myself believing. Profi, again, although he was sitting middle of the line, is right now the only name that I can scream, as he's going to be able to make it only three kills. Rebo will snap. Always continue to impress me. Rebo in particular, I feel like, is having such an incredible map. You know, It's not Agreed. often that I feel like you see the cypher leading the kill death ratio uh line i suppose scoreboard that'd be a more appropriate phrase for it but right now the only appropriate phrase i have is marved you're you're done 
<laughs> I mean, really, there's just nothing that can be said. Trying to take a long-range duel like that seems like suicide after a while, and Moon Raccoons will not stop. Again, they push into sight. There's nothing that FaZe can do. There, there really is nothing. Yeah. Moon Raccoons are winning everything. They're winning the duels. They're winning... Well, Corey gets one back, and actually a second. Now maybe there's a chance here. Can they do more damage? Another paint shell goes through, but Elf goes speed, and down goes Zachary. As Moon Raccoons look to take charge, Corey's trying to put the team on his back. Unable to do so. Moon Raccoons, 12-2 to two now. Stress the point that this was FaZe's choice of map, and again, they have been great on it. But Moon Raccoons are just showing them how it's really done. It's all going to begin with Fiend, perhaps just right-clicking his way to a newfound destiny, and that is going to be a massive dubski. 12 to 2, and it very well might be that 13 2 that you predicted, Boggs. The force up is non existent. Phase have yet to appear in the server whatsoever. Maybe they're treating this one as practice. I don't know. But either way, again, it's this Moon Raccoon showing them what is up. It's, uh, it's unbelievable what they're doing at the moment. But that doesn't mean that it's done. Again, Corey is going to be able to do great work here. Same story with Rockets with the Shock Dart. But it's not quite enough. The fundamentals are so strong for Moon Raccoons that they're easily going to be able to trade each other out and put each other onto stable territory. That should be all done and dusted, however. Rockets has nothing he can do other than offer himself up. Join. So, going to treat this as definitely more of a bonus round. Phase. I want to see how they adjust to this new quick and pace. That Moon Raccoons are trying to bring to the table, and the answer is not very well. Yep. <laughs> Already, the site has been taken, overwhelmed, spike planted, and done and dusted, dare I say. Solo hole B gets wiped clean. Spike down for Moon Raccoons. Profi with a good flank here could catch a couple on this little rotation. Zachary has found death. Temperature with two quick kills back, though. Profi could go back towards spawn and eliminate Baby Bay, but that's exactly what Profi will do. Doesn't push all the way in. It's only linchpin. Actually, go ahead and hold off Ooh. against the Trash Rats, and that's exactly why you need someone like Zachary. He is the hell that really Moon Raccoons have been staring down the barrel of for a while. They There's an eagle peek for more. This is so absurdly dangerous, but it just might work out. There's that rolling thunder that I mentioned, and the push begins once more. However, there's still a flank that they have to worry about. Plus, they have to also worry for the shock darts that Profi has managed to come online and find a kill with. Bomb is planted, and into a four on two phase once again have no chance whatsoever other than to pull off a miracle play. But I'm not gonna go ahead and count on it yet. Depending on the economy, I would just call a savior. One enemy remaining. Uh, and especially now. Yeah, definitely. You're not winning a 1v4 here. I'm sorry, Zachary. This is not something you win. There's a flank coming in as well. Location has been revealed. Rebo's going to come in. Slowly, but surely. Rebo's going to come in. Zachary will clear the angle. Doesn't matter. Hey, when B's really been a bit of an open book for him. They've had to rotate Gamble stack late. And it hasn't exactly worked out. Zachary needs a kill. He needs two here, realistically speaking. Pops through, caps off one, and the flick around on the Fiend. Huge plays from Zachary, but here comes Alexander to stand tall from control. Grabs a third kill over towards Spawn. Looking for a fourth. The gate has been blown asunder. The spike not yet planted, and it's all down to the last player, Profi. Tagged down as well, and finally put to bed by Corey. But Alexander made that round. Maybe it's time. Considering how it's going so far, FaZe have just... Again, I, I, I can't help but feel like a broken record. The push seems to be oh, happening over towards B. There is a lurk. I mean, that's cool, but it's against pistols. That's a dirty shot. There's one. Let's be honest. This is true. This is true. I... Do you think Corey pulls this one off? I don't. To make, get their way in the close qualifier. That would be ideal for them, and the sooner the better. And they're well on their way. They need four, they need five more rounds. Four more rounds for match point. That's a good kill from Baby Bay on Rebo to shut off this garden rotation. And still, Moon Raccoon's going to continue to push their way in. Bladestorm popped by Fiend. Goes through, does not clear Baby Bay. And who gets a fourth kill what? there. All from the same angle. Doesn't really move at all. Temperature walks right into two. And phase words, well, they were rotating back. If they continue that rotate back, would have been the ideal call there. Great. Flashbang allows Marvel to get the first kill. Marv will fall, but Cory and Baby Bay pushing in through the garden door. Cap off two more, and it's all down to Profi.
Profi's just going to run for the hills there with a the spike on his back, trying to get that spike down on the B site. Might actually be successful with it, too. Nobody from face is actually rotating around. Surely somebody would have the idea, okay, he can rotate towards B. Maybe we should get there before he does. Rock uh, is going to try to hold it? off the angle, and we'll have it done. Profi gets caught out. Pistol round for him. They're going to try and crunch in towards A. Do what Moon Raccoon's done in the first round. It's a good start on the Fiend. Rebo, though, one through the dark cover. Looking for a second. Profi with a double shock dart. That is massive for the Moon Raccoons. Corey trades it back on the Rebo, but Alexander in from heaven could have something else to say. Temperature has eliminated Corey. Zachary versus the Breach now. The spike going to rotate over towards B, and wisely so. Alexander's just going to hide on A until that spike goes down. Going to have a bit of an inkling that it's going to rotate now, but had no idea whether or not Zachary would rotate back towards the site. We'll now start to rotate once that spike has gone down. Turret has been placed, and there still is a swarm grenade in the hands of Zachary. He'll put that on the spike as well. But now let's see how Alexander can make his way back into this one. Coming in through Defender's spawn. Zachary has a good angle for this. That turret's absolutely perfect in getting the information. Zachary might peek. Surely, surely he doesn't peek. No, there's no reason for him to. You can tell that his teammates are telling him, don't peek, don't peek. Alexander, I guess, is already having enough of a hard time against the turret. There's that storm grenade, the aforementioned one that ends up probably being the kicker to allow FaZe to get number five. Zachary plays it well. But there is a long, long... That could be the call four here. Sack over B. Or three sack, I should say. There's a fourth rotating over. Definitely seems like there's a chance. No way. Two no, kills? No, not... Already? And not a chance from... Okay. Still three kills? Mm, it's this not is... enough, man. And look at the health there on uh, on the Omen, too. Unmarked. That's absolutely terrible. Rockus as well, has no more armor. This is very doable for the Moon Raccoons, especially if they can salvage a couple guns here. Oh, there's the alarm butt, but it's just going to sit dormant. Teleport onto Cat from Marv. The rotation should be coming in through spawn from Moon Raccoons. They're not going to so go risky. towards the attacker spawn. That's a very smart move. Oh, God, this is risky. Oh, he has no great. friends. Marv is alone. Yep. If Marv goes down here quickly, the Diffuse can come through before Rock is even able to make a move. But it's not going to come through quickly. Look at Rebo's cam, though. That's a lot of information there still up. Rebo hears the jump on the side, I believe, too. Rebo clearing around. Might look back, generator. Goomba stomps Marved. And now it's all down to Rockus. Breaks the glass. Recon bolt in. No more shock darts for him. Has the owl drone, but does not have health. Alexander swings while Rebo defuses. On the map, one jumping through CT. I'm more so keeping my eye on that player in market because he, I feel like, could be so close to a wealth of information. Similar story with that Cypher who's no sitting in grass at the on. moment. In fact, I think that player in grass just might be overwhelmed. But it's going to be the Hunter's Fury, surprisingly, surprisingly, excuse me, going to catch us all off guard and finding that first kill will be Profi. That crossfire will now come into beautiful effect to find not one, but multiple kills. And surprisingly, Rockus has actually managed to make this a little bit more than this. Baby Bay just holds with the knives in hand as FaZe are looking for some sort of opening, but there's a collapse on in. Profi looking to maybe get a bit too antsy, which is a bit too far up. And we'll lose his life in response. Spike planted. Teleport on over. I didn't actually even hear that one, but Marv apparently was ahead of the curve. Ahead of everything. That will be a bomb planted. An advantage not found for FaZe anymore. Of course, temperature through the smoke is going to completely catch me off guard. Boggs, this is actually looking like a real promising gift that FaZe have been possibly able to find. It's still not over yet, though. Fiend, a good kill to start things off. Now it's all done to temperature. Rock is looking to grab an ace here. That's very likely. Shock dart to grab the <laughs> ace there from Rockus. And FaZe will start his 2900. I knew you were going to bring that up. Happy. I just knew it. Twice is never going to be able to get away from that meme, man. No, he's this not. is unreal. <laughs> no, he's and not. really, it doesn't seem like anybody's going to be able to get away from temperature as well. Oh, God, no. That might be one of the final nail in the coffins. Rockus spotting somebody. Or spotting a, excuse me, a drone rather. I'll take it out, but he hasn't spotted anybody off of it. And hey, Rockus will actually have the distance closed upon him with that classic bomb yet to be retrieved, but things have a lot more to worry about than grabbing a spike. I know you said, you know, picks kind of favor the attacking side, which I understand, but at this point... Trades I'm favor struggling. the attacking side. Trades, this is very true. 
Rolling Thunder. If you're losing a two for one, it's uh, not helping yeah. you at all. <laughs> well, if they can bring up the pace, if they can bring up the rear, perhaps there's a chance. A conga yeah. line formation as they look to enter the A bomb site. And Boggs, this he could be thinking. something. Or perhaps it could not. Rebo's already watching. Yeah, never mind. Cam should be up. Does get left. caught in the in the rolling thunder, however. The spike should go down. But look at the position for Moon Raccoon's ready for the retake here. Oh, that's a great bit of work there. Oh, it doesn't exactly kill Zachary. Corey actually finds one on the Sheriff. Brings it to a 2v2. A dink comes in from Zachary. Spike finally going down here. Spray from Alexander's not going to find anything yet. Profi coming in. Shock dart out. That should find the first. Indeed it does. Corey goes down and Profi knows where Zachary is hiding. Back towards under. Span through the boxes. Not finding anything. Reloads. Has a recon bolt. And will throw that in. Will not catch anything. So much damage but not a kill. Profi on 16.